Hello, everyone. It's me, Mrs. Gronert, again. Do you have your number rack ready? If you don't, go and get it now because we're going to do more practice with numbers 20 on the number rack. Today, we're going to be talking about doubles plus or minus one on the number rack. Let's take a look. Doubles plus or minus one on the number rack. Look at the picture of the number rack. Do you see the doubles minus one fact? Did you know that we can make doubles minus one facts with our numbers racks? Let's take a look. Let's copy this picture. I have five beads on top and four beads on the bottom. Do you have that? Great. The doubles minus one fact is nine. Five beads plus four beads equals nine. Excellent. Okay, let's copy the picture of this number rack. This is an easy one. I have two beads on the top and one bead on the bottom. What's the doubles minus one fact? The doubles minus one fact is three. Two plus one equals three. Now, if I turned this over and looked at this side, I'd have one plus two equals three, which is a double plus one. There's my double plus one. We're turning our number rack this way, so we call it doubles minus one, but it really means the same thing. Okay, let's copy this number rack now. Okay. What do you see? What's the doubles minus one fact? The doubles minus one fact is 11. That's right. And my equation is six plus five equals 11. Great job. Okay, let's do a little bit more practice. Use your number rack to show the doubles plus or minus one facts. Okay, I'm starting with the number three. How can I show that as a doubles minus one fact? Well, if I start with the double of two and do a plus one, I've got three. There we go, do you have that? Okay, three on the number rack. Let's do the next one. Five. Can you show that as a doubles plus or minus one fact? Did you get it? Great work. Yes, two on the top and three on the bottom or the other way around, three on the top and two on the bottom make five. Let's keep going. Seven, okay, I'm at five. There's my double, six. Now I make it. Seven, four, and three. Did you get that? Nice. Now nine. Okay, let's make nine, five, and four. Did you get nine? Great. Eleven. Can you make eleven? I think I can do it. Six and five. Great. Now 13, okay. That seven and six. 15. Now I have seven and eight. Nice. 17. Now I have nine and eight. What do we notice about the doubles minus one facts? Hmm. Is there anything you can think of that you noticed as you were making those? Yeah, there's always one number or one row that has one 
that's different, right? It's the double, but then there's one that's different or one all by itself. That's right. Okay. Does this show a doubles plus or minus one fact? Let's make that. I have six on the top and one on the bottom. Is that a doubles plus or minus one fact? No, it's not, is it? Because it doesn't show the same number of beads on each row with just one difference right? This is six and one. That's a big difference. You're right. Seven can be a doubles plus one fact, but this number rack doesn't show that. Do you think you can show that? Seven as a doubles plus or minus one fact? Let's do it. Did you get it? Three and four. Yeah, now it is a doubles plus or minus one fact. Great job. Six plus one equals seven, but it's not a doubles plus or minus one fact. There we go. Now we have three and four. This does show a doubles plus one fact. Three plus four equals seven. Great job practicing doubles plus or minus one facts with me today. I hope to see you again very soon.